Bonjour, guten morgen, hola, and good morning. Welcome to our Lake Point Kids online experience. I'm Ms. Rachel, and I'm so glad you're joining me today. Friends, did you know what I was saying there? I was greeting you in some different languages. There are lots and lots of people in our world, and some of them speak a different language than we do. Did you know that God made every single person in the world? It's true. Look at the person beside you. God made them. Did you know that God loves every single person in the world? It's true. Look at the person beside you again. God loves them. Did you know that God wants every single person in the whole wide world to know about Him and how Jesus is alive and can be their best friend? It's true. God wants everyone to know this good news. How do I know this? Well, I know this from a Bible story that we're going to listen to right now.
friends, and welcome to the clubhouse. It's me, Lucy, and my friend Poppy left us some secret words to find. All I have to do is paint this page, see? I think there's a secret word on here somewhere. Let's keep painting. Do you spy the secret word? I spy with my little eye the word hello. That's how you say hi in English. Can you turn to your neighbor and say hello? Hello to all of you. Should we do another one? I'm gonna try blue this time. Do you spy the new secret word? I spy with my little eye the word hola. That's hello in Spanish. Can you say hola with me? Hola. Now turn to your neighbor and say hola. Yes, I love it. You just said hello in two different languages. Wow. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hola, Lucy. Who? Who? Telling each other hello, are you? Poppy left us these fun different ways to greet each other. Saying hello is fun. Who? Who? But there's so much more to tell others, too. So let's hear the story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. and welcome to my cupcake food truck. Do you want to see today's special? Ta-da! <laughs> They're my Tell All the World Cupcakes. I made them because today's story is about how we can tell the whole world about Jesus. If you're ready for a story, on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three, tell me a story. Today we are going to play I Spy to find a man named Peter. Do you see him? Get out your pretend binoculars. Look with me. Ready? I spy with my little eye. Peter! Peter was a fisherman. That means he would get in a boat and go out on a lake to catch fish. Peter believed in Jesus because Peter saw that Jesus is alive with his very own eyes. Jesus told Peter and his other friends that he would come back again. But until then, he wanted them to tell everyone that Jesus is alive. And he wants to be their friends forever. Then he left and went to heaven. Jesus' friends did just what he told them to do. They told everyone everywhere Jesus is alive. He wants to be your friend forever. One day, some men who were different than Peter came and knocked on his door. Knock with me, ready? Knock, knock, knock. They asked Peter to come to their house and tell all their friends about Jesus. Peter knew that Jesus loves everyone, no matter what they look like or what language they speak or where they live or what they have done. So Peter said he would go to their house even though they were different than him. Do you see someone that Peter can tell about Jesus? Look with me. Ready? I spy with my little eye someone Peter can tell about Jesus. Peter told his new friends all about Jesus, even though they were different than him. Peter told them about the amazing things that Jesus did. He told them about how Jesus died and came back and is alive. He told them he knows Jesus is alive because he talked with Jesus and even ate food with him. After Peter told his new friends all about Jesus, they believed in Jesus too because everyone can believe in Jesus. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. <laughs> oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who can believe in Jesus? I can believe in Jesus. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can believe in Jesus? I can believe in Jesus. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Bye. 
So there's your story, and it's all true. Jesus is alive, and we can tell everyone about it, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, Peter got to tell everyone that Jesus is alive because everyone can believe in Jesus. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good. I love that we can tell everyone about Jesus, no matter how they say hello. Let's see if Poppy left us more words to spy. See you later, bye. These are written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, John 20, 31. These are written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, John 20, 31. us to tell the good news about Jesus to everyone. It doesn't matter if people look different than us, talk different than us, live different from us, and like different things than us. God made them and loves them and wants them to know about Jesus. We can tell people we know about Jesus, our family members and friends, our teachers and our neighbors, and the people we see in our community. We don't want anyone to miss out on knowing Jesus. And so it's important for us to tell the people we know. And then they can tell the people they know, who can tell the people they know. And before you know it, the good news of Jesus will be spreading like crazy all around our world. Today, friends, you're going to get out your Play-Doh or your markers and make some people, all of them who look different from each other. Just like you'll make all of your people different, God made every single person in the whole wide world different. And he wants each and every one of them to know that Jesus is alive and that he can be their best friend. This week, we continue with our $10 family treat gift card draw. So to be entered, simply take a picture of your little one with their Play-Doh or their marker of creations. You can either post that picture on our Lake Point Kids Facebook page or email to me at rachel at lakepoint.church. Want to help spread the love of Jesus this week? 
partner with us in our Brighten Your Day campaign. It's a great way to let people know they are loved by Jesus. Have your little one draw a picture and then put their first name on it as well as their age, sealed in an envelope or a Ziploc bag, and drop it off in the mailbox attached to the wall beside our front doors here at Lake Point. We'll use it as a part of our bundles to encourage and bless some of our most isolated people at Lake Point and in our community as well. Feel free to enjoy our earlier family experience episodes on our YouTube channel or on our Lake Point app in the family resources section. Friends, I'm so glad you tuned in today. Adios, au revoir, auf Wiedersehen, goodbye. I'll see you again next week, same time, same place. Remember, God made us all different, but He wants everyone to know about Jesus.